Hi, I'm Scott Ian, and I'm here for Jackson Guitars, and I'm out on tour with Anthrax, the Four Old Kings tour, and uh, I'm here to talk about my toys today, so let's get started. This one, this Scott Ian King V, uh, this is the first one they built me. And they sent it and I plugged it in at home just through like a small amp in my house. I have a, a, a EVH combo there and I was kind of like, wow, it sounds really good, but couldn't really tell, you know. And I always have to wait till I really fire it up through my rig and or be in the studio with it to make a record. And it just so happens we were recording Four All Kings soon after I received this guitar. So I brought this one down to plug it in the studio and really hear it under the microscope. And it was the best sounding guitar pretty much I own. It, it even sounds better than my 81 Gibson V, which is probably the best sounding guitar I've ever owned. And I ended up using this on like three quarters of the record. It has such an amazing edge to it and uh, just the perfect amount of output and whatever. It's just perfect. It's the best sounding guitar I've ever ever played in my history of playing rhythm guitar. And I think that's saying quite a lot after, you know, all these records I've made since 1983. It really, it's really incredible. Mike Shannon and the Custom Shop guys really, really, yeah, I, I can't say enough about it. I, you could probably see the ding, but that's great because all my guitars should have dings and scratches and I don't want them to look perfect. They're, they're made to be played. I, I truly believe that. They're really made to be played. And you know, it's got Duncan JB's in it. Um, there's nothing super different or special about it. It just, it just kills, you know. It's got the Baldini uh, uh, Pantera logo on it, Dimebag's nickname for me on the back of the neck. And uh, yeah, that's my number one. I use this for four or five songs in the set every night. Tune to straight E flat, half step tuning. Uh, Diodario, 10 to, 10 to 52, Diodario 10 to 52 is on it. Um, yeah, that's my number one. Kills. So I don't really have an, well, I guess if I had a number two, it would be this one, I guess, because this is basically, it's the same as the signature model, but I put a Floyd on it because there are ah, half a dozen songs that could be in and out of the set where I need a Floyd. So, uh, I guess I would say this is the number two. It was the second guitar I get sent. Co sounds completely different than the number one. I don't know if it's because it has the Floyd in it. I'm sure that has something to do with it. And the way this is all set up and the way the pickups are in the body. And, but for, you would think this guitar uh, would maybe have more top end or whatever, but this guitar has so much bottom end in it for some reason. I figured with the carving of the body they have to do, because I have a lot of it carved out so I could pull up on my Floyd. And uh, I thought of anything that would take away some of the low end, but we actually have to pull low end out on the amps and add a little top when I switch to this guitar. Otherwise, it's just too much. It, it almost sounds like, like a Caius guitar tone. It's just like got so much low end, which I'll never complain about. You can't have enough because you could always dial it out. So uh, yeah, another just great sounding guitar. My number two. And uh, I've got my special Judge Ian badge on the back. Um, yeah, my number two. Even though the white one is, my number one is my best sounding one. I'd have to say this is probably my favorite one so far that they built me because the color, the red is just so goddamn hot. <laughs> it's just, everyone, Every band we tour with, everyone we meet, everyone wants to steal this guitar from me. I mean, it really is, it, it's hard to beat that, that red on this V with the white pick guard. I mean, it's just, come on, look at this thing. Even if, even if it sounded terrible, I'd still play it because it looks so good. And you know what, it's, it's, of course it sounds killer. So, you know, it's, it's the best of both worlds. It's not just a dumb beauty, it's a really good sounding one as well. And yeah, Duncan JB's again, they all have Duncan JB's in them. Same Diodario strings on every guitar. It's just, I mean, god damn, look, look at that. It's just, can't beat it. 
my uh, black one with the mirror pick guard, and I don't know if you could see, but some weird like corrosion. I, can you see that around the pickup? Because it, it had sat in storage for two months between when we had a, a break from last year going into this year. And my first instinct was, oh, well, I'll just have Jackson send out a new pick guard and we'll change it. But then the more I looked at it, I was like, well, no, that's cool. It like it, it aged itself or so I like, I don't know what happened, but now I don't want to change it. It's this weird natural organic fungus or something that is happening on the, it's like venom. The Spider-Man enemy is taking over my guitar. Uh, I'm a nerd anyway. Yeah. Also sounds great. And yeah, this just rips. This guitar is super metal. But yeah, love it. Just awesome to play. Uh, I used this one on a couple of songs in the set, later in the set. Uh, and yeah, there it is. There's a signature model. This is the next one that's actually coming out. Um, Non-Floyd version of this is coming out in the summertime, I believe. So you'll be able to get your sweaty little hands on one of these as well. So on this white one, instead of, you know, doing the kind of that classic cream colored like white, this one I went like ultra white, white. And uh, yeah, I just wanted a one that looked super white, even more simple with just the one volume knob. Uh, this one I have tuned down to a drop C sharp. So I'm just using this one for all the, uh, the songs we have in that tuning. Um, and it's got a graphic on it that says, you're just a bag of blood and I'm holding the nail, which is a lyric from our song, You Gotta Believe, off of Four All Kings. And uh, yeah, once again, another weapon in my arsenal that sounds killer, looks killer. I mean, these things really kind of do, I feel like, you know, in a weird way, it's like holding a rifle. Um, but yeah. Just so sick, so beautiful. I've never had a guitar that I was like so in love with like this. It's kind of like my dream because I always loved Gibson V's and I've always loved Jackson's and I kind of feel like we've come up with the <laughs> my dream guitar. This is my homage to Michael Schenker. Obviously, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can Google that, but uh, yeah. Michael Schenker famously had a V painted in this kind of color scheme. And uh, I'm a big Michael Schenker fan, and I just had to have one for myself. So yeah, I'm uh, paying homage to one of my favorite guitar players. Uh, and the Jackson Custom Shop guys, again, did just an incredible job making my dream come true. And uh, now I get to act like I'm Michael Schenker every night for a couple songs on stage except I don't play lead. And then I still have one of my soloists out with me, which I haven't been really using in the set, um, but I, I warm up on this one. It, I, I actually play this one more than all the other guitars because this is the guitar I'm warming up on every day backstage in the dressing room. Um, one of the first soloists, uh, when this became my signature model back in, God, what was it, 2010 maybe? When, you know, something like that. This one just happens to have one of those Evertune bridges on it that they threw in for me, which I can't tell you why or how it works, but it works because this guitar could sit for months in the worst conditions, like it could be freezing and then hot and whatever, and you take it out of the case and it's still in tune. So it, the bridge really does work. One of my uh, silver, burst, silver Burst soloists. Shows you how much I know technically about guitars. So yeah, that's all the guitars.